Trans by Deaf, this is Christine, and today is Sunday. Our topic this week is um, holiday wishes and holiday plans. Um, for my holiday plans, Christmas Day, I plan on staying at my house and just relaxing. Um, I have the kids that day all day, and we're going to open presents in the morning and look at our stockings and do the traditional Christmas lunch, dinner, whatever. Um, and... Um, that's it. There's, there's no, no big plans for Christmas Day. However, on the 26th, I'm traveling with the kids. We're going up to Michigan. We're going to see my grandma. Um, my grandma this year uh, went to an assisted living center. Um, and I, I haven't seen her since she's been there. So I haven't seen where she's living and, um... I just want to get up there and see her. Um, I'm also going to see my parents. And, you know, I, I've seen them as recently as October. Um, you know, I'm anticipating that that could be a little bit strained. Um, my dad and I, I think he's got some problems with me transitioning. Um, and he doesn't talk about it much. Uh, with my mom... Well, I think that'll be great. Um, hopefully we can hang out and, you know, take the kids to a museum or two uh, in the Grand Rapids area. Um, and just kind of enjoy ourselves up there. Um, and then for two days, or an overnight and some time on each side, um, the kids and I are going to go meet Gwen, my girlfriend, um, and her kids. Uh, over in the Detroit area. And uh, we plan on just kind of hanging out and enjoying a pool and um, the kids will swim around hopefully and have fun. Um, you know, and maybe, just maybe, I might finally be able to actually give Gwen a hug. Um, <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't have, you know, super fancy plans. I mean, I guess a, a trip that's a few hundred miles away, I, I guess that's a pretty big deal. But it's, um, it's going home. And, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a Caribbean cruise or something like that. You know, that's, that's not my wishes. My wishes for Christmas are family and friends, spending time with them. Um, and, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, as far as, as what I hope I get for Christmas, um, I hope my car doesn't break. I hope I have enough money to buy the gas I need to go up there and back, and the food and everything else on the trip. Um, I hope I have enough money for all that. Um, I, I hope it's a safe trip and that there's no accidents. Um, I hope that my kids like the presents that they get. Uh, it's not as much as it was in years past, but, you know, we're all pretty stinking spoiled. I mean, Harley talked about that, just how spoiled and, and, you know, we're spoiled people. Um, my transition brought me face to face with the possibility of losing all of my friends all of my family, including my kids, and it didn't happen. Um, what better gift could I get? I finally get to be honest about who I am um, and present myself in a way that's authentic to me. And I still have family and friends, new friends, a lot of new friends this year. Um, and old friends that came through in ways that are mind-boggling, um, you know, truly showing me, you know, that they care and they love me. Um, you know, what more could I ask for for Christmas? There's really nothing. And really, when you think about the reason for the season, um, as a Christian, for me, Christmas holidays are 
about Christ. And the reason he came, it was to teach us how to love. And I already got a lesson in that this year. And so, my final wish for the season is that you are able to find the same love and support around you that I found for myself this year. Um, that you can feel that peace inside that you've never felt before. Um, that you can feel loved. Thanks, Trans by Death, and I hope you guys all have a very happy holidays, and I will talk to you next week. Um, bye. Thank you.